and welcome to the latest edition of Golden Score, day two of competition at this year's Tash Tashkent Grand Slam. Robin Willingham is going to tell us who we've got. Robin. Well, we are actually <laughs> going to start with, it doesn't really get much bigger than this. We are going to start with uh, Clarice Agbegnanu. Okay, she was great. the gold medalist here today. And uh, Clarice, if you want to come out and join us, come I could I could list all of her <laughs> accolades, but I think she'd have it, it to do take, a few laps. Forever, she'd have to yeah. do a few laps yeah. of the tatami. Right. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank nice you. to see you back on uh, Golden Score. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Yes. Feeling good. Yes, feeling good. Yeah. Some neighbors that came out today. <laughs> eh? <laughs> it was a lot better than the the weeks after like after Paris it was terrible so now I'm okay I mean terrible is a contextual <laughs> word maybe but it's uh, not really the, the word that I need to say on this <laughs> but I was really tired how do you like yeah how do you you have three weeks between Paris and now how do you make such a significant improvement in such a short space of time <laughs> when your nail was there oh let's say that I was that tired that I rest a lot and I just went for some techniques especially in Newaza because in Paris I had 10 times, a million times uh, the arm lock, and I could not make it. Mm. So I said, okay, I need to work on it. You made it today. I made it today. I'm really proud. Twice. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, it's pretty good. Also, like, you don't often see that against the Japanese as well. The Japanese are particularly good at Neuaza, so that's got to feel like... Extra. <laughs> I'm extra proud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so what's the, what's the plan now? What's, uh, where are you going to go? Uh, the plan now is um, flying tomorrow night for Japan, for training camp. Mm -hmm. So now I need to train, so I will train uh, like a long period. And then I think I'm going to go for the World Championship. Is world in the Championship? Plan. Is in the plan, then we will see, but it's in the plan. Okay, so Worlds and Olympics in the same year. Yeah, I remember you did this once before. And yeah, back. And because it works, then <laughs> yeah. I have to go again. I think you're the, actually the only person in history to have won a world and an Olympics in the same year. We had quite a few world champions who got Olympic bronze and br world bronze Olympic. You going to do it again? Of course, I'm going to do it. <laughs> actually, I'm going to go. So then I'm going to do it again. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, have, um, let's have a quick look at your final. Let's, uh, maybe you could uh, give not too many secrets away, <laughs> but you could, uh, you could talk through the the movement. Talk us through what's happening here. Uh, she was uh, going on, on me, like really hard, and I was like, okay. Uh, then she fell down, and I was like, okay, I can do the GG, I can do the GG, I can do the GG, <laughs> I can go for the arm lock. And I was like, okay, the GG is on it. Yeah, you just got it. Just and like, uh, yes. Transition, also, not just working on the ground, but going from standing to ground. Yes, what I'm doing in BGG, because in BGG, most of the time they are doing on the ground, but with my uh, coach, we are doing like the transition because mm. we know that it's totally different in judo. Should we, uh, should, should we take a look at the other Gigi? Yes. Yeah, maybe you can tell <laughs> us what, what was sort of, you can compare and contrast. Okay. <laughs> Is this the one we got, have we got it here? I think we're gonna go across to it now. Oh, okay, we've got oh the yeah, heart. Yeah. Important it's really cute. Really cute. <laughs> yeah, there, there were three celebrations that, that you had. One was baby. The, the baby. Athena. One, oh, oh, four then? Yeah. And then one was the heart. The heart. The one I liked the best was, I ah thought yeah. about this. Yes. Because it was. Tatsuka was a, was a new opponent. Yeah. He hadn't faced her uh, before. Never. And it was quite tough. In really the beginning. tough, yes, and yeah. I knew it because at the training camp, when I go there, she's really tough, she's coming all the time at me, and it's hard to throw her, so I was like, wow, it's going to be massive, but yeah, I'm happy to, to win against her in Newaza. That was a really good one. We enjoyed watching that, Neil and I really enjoyed that. We just saw you growing in the contest all the time and getting more and more confident, and we felt it was just a matter of time. We weren't quite sure if it was going to finish on the ground. We thought you'd probably throw her. Should yeah. we look at the other Gigi? Okay, let's yeah. go for that then. Here we go. What, so what's she like as an opponent? Uh, she's really tough as well. Nami and she already beat me once or twice. And this one, I didn't know that I could do this. And I was like, oh, go on the ground because you cannot do it standing GG. It was this in my mind, like, go on the ground, go on the ground. Just hurling yourself towards <laughs> the ground. Very, very quick question. So you fought Nabakura Nami before. Yeah. I, I thought she was missing something today. I, I think she was quite, uh, she had the stress, but then she had 
she, she said, okay, if I, if I go before her, then I can have uh, Antsukumake. And I was like, no, I cannot lose against Antsuku with Antsukumake. It's not yeah. possible. Yeah. So I felt her, I was really good in the grip, but it's hard when, for me, the rules are, are changing. But it's okay, I'm going to work more for it and finish it before. That Congratulations I don't have again. Thank you. Good luck in Japan. Don't get injured. <laughs> no, <laughs> thank and you very see much. See you at the World Championships. Yes, yeah, see you Stay soon. Stay healthy. <laughs> thank you very <laughs> thank much. You so much Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, Reese Agbegnanu, gold medal winner in the under 63 kilo category. And she was really impressive today oh, uh, for me. Yeah. And ridiculous. she said she was tired and everything. Well, I thought she looked yeah. really, really good. We right were literally the only halfway contest. through one edit of her not dominating a Nawaz. And we were like, oh, no, she's done it again. Right, put them together. <laughs> 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 crazy. Right, who have we got next then? We have uh, Manuel Lombardo, the gold medalist at under 73 kilograms. This should be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you take this one? I will, I will, I will. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Hi. Nice to see you here on uh, Golden Hi. Score again. No? And you look really happy this time. Last time you weren't as happy. It's uh, one year that uh, I don't take uh, a gold uh, medal, so yeah. I'm happy of that. No, we're really pleased for you. Yeah. Thank you, thank nice you. Performance. I'm happy of my performance. It's uh, the first time also that I follow a diet. I said uh, before to yeah. him, <laughs> <laughs> yes, because uh, after uh, the Paris Grand Slam, they sent me to the nutritionist. So it's two weeks that uh, I almost uh, only eat uh, Greek yogurt. Oh, really? <laughs> so no, no more pizza or anything? <laughs> no, 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 pizza, I, I left it uh, for uh, after the waiting. Yesterday, <laughs> okay, right. I ate the pizza. Robin's got some questions for you. Well, yeah, so you've, you've been out here. You're a very consistent medalist. You're always, up, you, you know, you never can count you out. What was the difference, do you think, today to get, to get the gold medal? Uh, I don't know if there is something particular mm. because uh, I also give my best uh, in the training on the mat when I train home. So I think, uh, like you said, it's the consistency, the key. And uh, sometimes it's, uh, it works, uh, sometimes no. So this time it worked and I'm happy of that. In the, uh, I think it was the semi-final, you had uh, an Uzbek opponent. What was it like? Uh coming out into to Tashkent, into the Humo Arena <laughs> against, against the crowd. What's that like for you? Yes, uh, I'm lucky that uh, that wasn't the final. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I, it's a good day, it was the semi-final, yeah. but uh, the crowd, uh, so it's uh, very warm and uh, it's uh, exciting to fight against the, the home favorite. So it was a good, uh, good feeling. So the Greek yogurt you think is working? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this time, I don't know, maybe next time I, I will eat only pizza, I see if it works, but I don't think so. Yeah, it'd be tough for a weight cut on pizza. Yeah, I Toughest would like. fight of the day for you? Which was the hardest uh, fight? For sure, the final. I, I didn't have uh, a brilliant performance. I, I, I wasn't comfortable with uh, that kind of uh, judo grips, yeah. and uh, I have uh, something to work on uh, when uh, I come back home, so I'm, uh, I'm happy of the gold medal, but, but uh, there is a lot of to, to work. What exactly are you going to work on? Can you tell us? No, it's a secret. Uh, no, it's not a secret, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> if I Who's going to tell you? If I knew, I, <laughs> I did a few hours ago. <laughs> so lots of studying then? Yeah. Lots of studying. For now, I only know that uh, that kind of uh, the, the judo I did, uh, didn't work so so good so this time it uh, uh, I took the gold medal but if I want to take uh, more medal I have to improve uh, also that kind uh, of grips still good enough for the gold though yeah yeah so it's yeah, yeah. Today, okay. yeah it's okay it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. what's the next uh, for you Manuel where are you off to uh, next? I don't know because uh, it also it depends uh, of uh, what uh, my coach will decide after this gold medal for sure I I will not fight in Europeans and World Championship because I want to focus on uh, Olympic uh, sure. Olympic Games, but just because of uh, uh, mental energy. Uh, maybe I will fight in the Kazakhstan Grand Slam, but uh, I will see with my coaches. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you wherever you decide uh, to okay. go, and uh, good luck with the diet. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Thank again. You. Right. Thank you. Thanks, man.
It's funny sometimes you're not sure about the weights and everything, but he looks he looks okay. He, he used to be 66, so right? Yeah. So maybe it was pizza yeah. to get him to 73, and then <laughs> now, now Greek yogurt to stay to, at 73. To maintain, yeah. to maintain. <laughs> right, we've got one more. Uh, two we? more, two more. Oh, have we? We oh have of course uh, we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, have yeah, Miriam yeah. Buchreit, the right. third gold medalist of the day at under 70 kilograms for Germany. Hello. Hi, Miriam. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to yes. our Golden Score. Nice Thank to see you out in the middle again. Congratulations. That was a close final. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> it looked pretty hairy at some one point, but on the with the hold down and everything. A couple yes, of times. Yes, it was uh, close to <laughs> seven seconds. One one of them went seven? to. I don't know if you you, you knew no, that. No, I don't know. <laughs> Were that you counting? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't count. <laughs> yes, uh, I don't know what happened, but I I'm good in Nivasa and I'm good in defending and just. It just worked a few. out. Yeah, yeah it you worked just out. Kept, yes. kept catching the leg, yeah. didn't you? Wow. Yeah, I don't know, because <laughs> I have long legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> used to your advantage. Yes. Yeah. And then the, the score, what did you think? Did you, you, you thought it was if on straight yes, away, Yes, I felt you? it, because I attacking with the uh, coach here, and she was on, his, on her back. I yeah, let's, let, let's take a yeah. look, and then let's you can talk us through it. Yes. Because she <laughs> wasn't so sure at the beginning. No, she wasn't so sure, because she wanted to do Zumiga Eshi, and, but I felt like... Uh, my leg was in before she won't go. Yeah. Talk us through Talk what's happening yes. there. Yeah. I think we'll we'll get a shot with 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 the legs. We had a really really yeah. here it there. is. Yeah. So you have the hook. Yes. And then. Yeah. Drive it down. Was a good moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not for her, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but for me. <laughs> How would you feel if that was uh, scored against you? Fine. <laughs> Sip on. <laughs> <laughs> Not no really. Score. No <laughs> score. Not really. <laughs> it's funny, isn't no, it? No, I can understand her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But right. still, they're fantastic. Anna, you had a fantastic day as well. Yes, but um, I didn't feel felt so good like oh. the last competition. Uh, I felt better, much better. I was a little bit tired, but uh, I have I had just one chance, and I use it. Miriam, we don't want to keep going on about the Olympic quali qualification, <laughs> but we have to because it yes, is getting closer sure, and closer. Everybody wants to you know, know, I feel for Giovanna because yeah. you know it wasn't her best day yeah. today, but th th that gap is getting bigger, bigger and bigger, and, bigger yes. and you're beating more and more people. Yeah. You know, so when are they going to tell you? After the worlds. Really? Yes. Okay, so after this does not change. That's oh, wow. going to be very no, difficult. It yeah. So you still can't, you know, <laughs> sleep at night. So you're still thinking, <laughs> looking over your shoulder um no i don't do this because uh i'm focusing on myself and that's the best Good way to you. go yeah, yes best way best yes way. and with a gold medal you can sleep well <laughs> I, um, there was a nice moment i saw after you left the tatami you, you went out into the corridor yeah. and then yeah. i saw you and your coach knit back in <laughs> yeah. and just watch it up on the big, on the big screen yeah. <laughs> i want to yeah. see i want to see yeah. <laughs> yeah he told me let's let's have a look let's have a look okay okay <laughs> ah, it's really nice it's yeah. i always like it when you see you guys yes. watching it back yes i um yeah i forgot it but uh he told me let's go let's go ahead let's have a look yeah all right really pleased yeah. for you yeah. Thank, Thank you very you much, again. Thank, Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> we'll see you again, yeah? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> see you again Bye. soon. All right. Yeah, it's a tricky one, isn't it? You know, you, you, um, you know you've got uh, someone in your weight category in your own country who's not that far behind you. Yeah, yeah. But just another good result for a thousand points. Drives her on a bit, maybe. Yeah, good one. Yeah. All right. Who's we got we for us? We uh, are going to end big and bad with Matthias Casse, the gold medalist at under 81 kilograms. Hey, Matthias. Hello. Congratulations. Nice to see you. Yeah, congratulations, again. man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Super win. Really nice. Tough oh, fight. That, that went. That was a long and epic fight. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I'm feeling. It's 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 not <laughs> nice to win with with such a, a Shiro or Hansu Komake. Yeah, of course. Um, I think we were both looking for for a score, but we know each other very well. It's the fourth time we fight in competition. We've had so many renderings on training camp. Mm. So it's, it's really difficult to find the openings, find the scores. Uh, we both have a, our plan that we stick to very well. So then it's difficult to find the openings. Yeah, we were saying so. that three of the four Olympic medal winners were on that yes. podium uh, yeah. today. Yes, Zvidrak so. must have thought, <laughs> hey, look at my company. Look, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've made it, <laughs> <laughs> I've arrived. That's <laughs> a, it's a good... Um, view for the, the next coming up Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, there are so many 
so many good guys uh, from round one, another Olympic champion, round two, the, the young Uzbek, they're Every round is Former hard. world champion. Yeah, they keep they keep, they <laughs> the keep coming. Actually, <laughs> the the win against Nagase was uh, that's a big win as well. Olympic champion. I think like there was one point in your career. I remember looking at your record, and you were pretty much impeccable against everyone else. But Japanese, there was always like a and you seem to and you seem to have really <coughs> overcome that now. And you yeah, what was that? What does that win mean to you? It's, it's the first win against Nagase. I lost obviously at, at the games. Um, that was a close fight, but. Uh, very painful if I think, think back to Let's it. Let's not think about that then. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but I'm very happy to, to, to overcome him. Um, uh, he's, he's a very experienced fighter. He doesn't make much mistakes at all. So it, it's difficult to, to, to score to him, uh, against him and, and to, to, to win. Uh, there are not many, many judoka who were able to, to win against him. Mm -hmm. He's very consistent. Um, so I'm, I'm glad to have this in the back for the next Olympics. Yeah. I, felt, um, I felt watching the fight that he kind of had the ascendancy in the first half and then you kind of took control part way through. Did, did you feel similar about that? Yeah, I think so too. Um, I, I really felt that I could, could still like put some more pressure and, and uh, keep the, the tempo higher. Um, and I think he at the end couldn't handle the, the tempo anymore and, and he, he was trying to, to get through, but mm -hmm. um, I just managed to, to do a little bit more. and. Uh, uh, it's it's nice to win like that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Neil well, Adams was talking about uh, preparation <coughs> and training and the events that you can now pick on, on the back of this of, of this gold medal. Is that something that was in your mind that you wanted to be able to say, okay, I, I can take my foot off the gas to to a degree, and I've got this one and that one before the game. Does this make it easier now? Yeah, well, uh, I don't really need any, any more points. I'm, I'm yeah, very, very secure. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so the question is, what are you doing there then? Well, <laughs> I could try and qualify in two weight categories like <laughs> Kripalik. <laughs> well, I think Kripalik is, is still <laughs> a step up. Um, but it's, it's mainly just to, to um, these grand slams, I, I use as, as practice more. Yeah. I can try new things. I can uh, see if what we've been working on on training is, is working on competitions. Um, this is, is the ideal setting. Now, you, like Europeans, World Championships and Olympics are coming up. There, it has to be good. Uh, for sure, at the Olympics, it's, it's the ultimate event. Um, there, I don't want to make any mistakes. I want to make mm. sure that mm. I, I feel... You've done all the work. Yes, this all is the just the, the work preparation part of the, the big, bigger picture. I, at the Games, I want to be in top shape. I don't want to make any mistakes. And there, it has to happen. Ready. Mm -hmm. Talking about working or something, noticed a little drop knee Tayatoshi in the final. Yeah, that was nice. I, it, I'm, I'm sad it was not a score. <laughs> I should have uh, made some more kuzushi with the the sleeve. Uh, but it's good to, to to see that they're coming coming through. Um, like everyone knows knows me by now. Yeah, they uh, know what you're going for. So it's it's important to keep innovating, to keep adding new things to your judo. Um, otherwise, you're very predictable and and yeah. well. Uh, once you're at the top of the of the ranking, everyone's watching you yep. and uh, preparing for you as well. So defense in there was a look good. Well, that's <laughs> I, I also watched <laughs> the other guys and I know <laughs> <laughs> he's very good with his technique. Uh, he won a lot of, of fights like this, um, so I, I knew what to do and well, good for yeah. you. It worked. Yeah. Yes, it was. It, uh, it's good. That's why we train so much. That's why yeah. uh, we're doing it all the time. So here it, it almost comes automatically. Well, congratulations, Matthias. Good performance. Thank, thank you, you very, very much for joining nice us. See you out here again. See, see, you. see you again soon. Yes, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah here in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yep, All right. Kessa, really, I, I enjoyed watching him today. Yeah. And it was, it was methodical. And uh, but Neil was saying how his um, uh, picking of certain events and the way that he went about his craft was all about preparation, not necessarily the, me uh, the medal. And he confirmed that saying, didn't matter about you know, the, the, the ranking list. He needed to come to these events to make sure that he was prepared for the big one. And the medals still come as yeah, well. Yeah, in that case, that was <laughs> part of it. Right. Right, last up we technical have technical analysis, analysis with the Mr. Man Neil himself. Adams. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. What a day. <laughs> hey, what have you got for us good. today then? Oh, I've got some crackers for you today. So we're concentrating mostly on the um, uh, Newaza, because there are a couple of things that even we were kind of uh, talking about actually uh, throughout the day. And um, some uh, really good Newaza exchanges. Borshishvili 
uh, had a really so a couple of really cracking uh, Nawaza exchanges, and uh, this particular one. We're going to have a look at it first well, of all. Just before you go yeah. into that, it's, it's nice that you say it because it was a thing that we ended on with Matthias Kasser saying yeah. how good his defence was because Borchers really had caught everyone else. Yes, mm. wasn't able to catch the big fellow. Though, no, was it? and yeah. and you know the the interesting thing was is that that uh, Borchers really and and quite a few of the others as well. They wrapped the uh, the um, belt, the hand into the belt. I'm not 100% sold. You, on I'm not that 100% yet. sold either, <laughs> and I'm going to show you why. Okay, right. Let's have a look. Uh, so, <coughs> Borchesville, th this was a, a magical uh, back and forth thing that happened here. But uh, Borchesville likes to attack in Niwaza. And there's the uh, uh, entanglement there of the, uh, of the hand. <coughs> and then, of course, it's to get them on top there get the balance right and then get the turn into the hold now the defense is by grabbing there's a defense now grabbing the leg all right and what he did there he defended grabbed the leg but then he suddenly turns on top of Borsha's Ville there gets the old side coming and Borsha's Ville's hand if you have a look is trapped yeah. <laughs> so because he's fed it through he's trapped his own hand he couldn't take it out and he's got it, he just takes it out now, and that's when he pushes on the shoulder there, and that's when he turns out. So it nearly turned on him, and everything that we've been saying about, I'm not quite sure about that arm being tucked, tucked in there, you know, and not, not some of the best. I remember Craig Fallon never used to tie the arm up there he, ne he never used to do it you but do uh, a lot of them do at the why, moment why do you think they're wrapping it up if they, if I, th they can I, just think, grab the I think they're thinking of just controlling that that hips uh, it's a little bit a bit like the belt wrap that they do mm. to control the hips mm. all right so it's a way of controlling the hips and uh, but i think that when you turn over and you control the hips but anyway it's just something to look for but it nearly came unstuck there mm. uh, uh, and um uh, yeah, he nearly come unstuck uh, and it nearly backfired on him. But anyway, it's just um, something for them to look at as yeah, well. Yeah, I wonder if he'll uh, adjust after Well, I don't know. I, I make a readjustment. I think that a lot of people are going to have to look at that because it, it kind of traps the hand into the belt. And uh, like you and I have been saying, I'm not quite sure about that, but I know that it wouldn't suit me because I can't turn the wrist. And in order to get direction, you need to be able to turn that wrist. Okay, that's the Borshash Vili. And so Aliyev. some people might be uh, yeah, looking at this <laughs> next example now. Uh, all right, have a look at this. This is a fantastic one here. Uh, 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 this is a really unusual one. Um, and Aliyev um, does a really unusual, it goes onto the arm and uh, he, he actually traps the arm uh, with, uh, he, he, uh, his opponent is holding over the top. He traps the arm and then he shoves oh, the hips the Kansetsu, forward. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and he yeah. does a kind of uh, yeah. an Udi Garami on the arm. And uh, uh, there's a lot of people, including me, who's going to have a little look at this just to see how he got into it. It's right on the elbow, so there's no, there's no problem. <coughs> there's no no yeah. exactly. No, so it goes onto the elbow. It's mm. absolutely yeah. onto the elbow there. And uh, look at the submission he gets there. And for those All thinking right. it was uh, like a chance thing, I actually saw him do it in the next, try and do it in his next fight against Lombardo. He didn't, yeah. he didn't succeed the second time around. No, and He's it's going for if it. If they hold uh, um, in a certain way, he goes around the arm. All right. But then what he does, he kind of kicks them out. Watch his right leg. His yeah. right leg, uh, uh, sorry, his left leg goes over there to get mm. a little bit of leverage, and then he puts the pressure on the arm. Does, the, uh, does he get is it two taps? He taps and then he taps again, does he? Yeah, or like it's got it goes bit. on and then he has to put it on a bit more. He, he, he puts it on and then he puts it on just that tad <laughs> more, yeah. And two taps is what's needed. So uh, tap, tap he the got body it. is always tap, a, be tap. a better, <laughs> a better option. Yeah, one from underneath the there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Please let go. But brilliant stuff. What, hey, there's a couple of really great examples. Anyway. And those were it? Those were That's the it. two? That was it. Excellent. Okay, we're going to be back tomorrow with more action from the third and final day of competition at the Tashkent Grand, Sl Grand Slam. Robin, Neil, myself, all the broadcast crew. Bye-bye for now. See you later. Goodbye.